we're really excited to be hosting our very first information evening this evening. On behalf of myself, Arthur and the team at Gerber Properties, a very big thank you to Veronica Morgan from Good Deeds for sharing her wealth of information. Looking forward to a great night. So what I want to do is talk to you about how to, to um, master auctions and buy like a pro. Quite often when people are fearful of something, they avoid it. Do not do that in this area. And the reason is because over 80% of inner west properties are actually marketed by auction. You're going to limit your market to 20% of what is available. Quote it low, watch it go. Quote it high, watch it die. By quoting an, a, a price guide low, buyers think, oh yeah, or wishful thinking takes over and they think, great, I've got an opportunity to buy this property. So they take a contract, so they start doing all their checks. And what you need to understand is what's on the agency agreement. So basically, the agent will ha has to substantiate the price they put on the agency agreement and they can't quote less than it. You need to get in the auction headspace you're gonna to have to start thinking, okay, I have to understand this as a method of sale. I have to understand how I'm going to play in this space. Otherwise, you're gonna get eaten for breakfast. And once you do find something that you like, you need to be able to work out what it's worth. Make sure you know exactly where you're gonna to go to get those answers before you go to auction. Get yourself a solicitor, but then get a solicitor that does a lot of property. You've got to make your own mind up of what a property is worth. You make comparisons based on location, size, accommodation, parking style and conditions. They're the main things that we look at. And you do have to think, particularly in a rising market, you have to actually think how long ago that sale was as well. And you have to sort of factor in um, a measure for, for price movement. That process is very much about what's it worth to you and will you kick yourself? And that's, that's the best thing a first home buyer can, can do, is really fully understand what they can get for their money. I thought it was fantastic. There was a lot of information to take in, but it was all worthwhile and really valuable. I really enjoyed the evening. Um, as, a, as someone who's looking to get into buying their first home, I found it extremely informative. Uh, the speaker was uh, very engaging. I learned some great tips. Um, I know where I'm going to go next now, so that's something I'm going to do and put into practice. If you're a first home buyer, you really need to get to know your market, um, what, you, what you can afford and to have really realistic expectations. So I hope that you all find that really useful. Thank you. Thank you. So I know what I need to do now to get into the market and I'll definitely be doing that now.